should change your name to laughter. It brings joy to every room. The technique of using double exposure editing technique to process image of people is becoming more and more popular these days. If you want to know how to make that happen in your own video, free download video pro vlogger through the link we put in the description box down below. Then check out the video. Launch video pro vlogger. Create a new project. First, you need to have as much footage as possible of people on a white background. Also, prepare some landscape footage and a piece of music you like. Import them together into the software. Then, drag the music into the audio track. Use a split on the toolbar to edit it. Then, go to the inspector on the top right. We'll add a fade out effect to it. This will end the music more naturally. After finishing the music editing, we drag several videos of the people to the video track in turn. Then, drag and drop the mouse to adjust the length of each clip. If you come across this situation where the video does not fill up the whole screen, just go to the transform error in the inspector. Click on the height to make it fit to screen. Now we are done with the rough cut. Now we need to colorize the clips in turn. First, click on the first video. Find the color icon in the toolbar. Click on it to enter the color and filter editor panel. The double exposure effect is in fact to allow another clip to show through the person. Thus, we should highlight the character and separate her from the white background. So first, we go to the customer area on the right. Increase the overall exposure. Enhance the highlight. This will make the white of the background more intense. Then, increase the contrast and lower the shadows, whites, and blacks, respectively. Adjust the part that you want to pass through to black and dark as much as possible. Finally, lower the saturation, and you must avoid oversaturating the color so that it does not contradict the other material. Now, we are done coloring this character. Click Apply to Apply Adjustment. With a similar principle, let's go on to add the rest of the material. When we are done, drag a landscape clip onto the overlay track. Adjust the time duration. Then, find a transform property error in the inspector. Click on the height to make it fit to screen. We then scroll down to the compositing area. Select the screen blend mode for it. In a preview window, we can see the effect of double exposure. If you want to adjust the content of the exposure scene, you can continue to adjust the specific parameters in a transform until you get what you want. Let's continue dragging the different landscape clips onto the overlay track. We finish the edit with the same method. Now you get this effect. You should change your name to laughter. It brings
joy to every room. Through the preview of this effect, you can feel a noticeable progressive sense of the music here. And since there is a transition in the image at the same time, we add a bird flying picture and a sound effect of the bird flapping its wings. Find the plus icon in the far left of the overlay track. Click it to add a new track. Then drag down the bird flying material. Adjust the size of the screen to fit your screen. We click on the color icon again. Use the high contrast effect to bring out the silhouette effect of the birds. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Let's preview. And we will find that the speed of the flying birds is a bit of slow, but that's fine. We can directly find the play speed property in Inspector. Click on the value to increase the speed directly. Then adjust the duration to finish editing it. For the screen image, we add a new audio track. Drag the sound effect onto the track. Adjust the value in the Inspector. Then add a fading and fade out effect to it. This will blend with the background music even better. At the end, we find a transition icon at the top left. Click on it to open the panel. Find a fade transition. Drag it to the timeline. Adjust the duration with the mouse. That's all for the editing. Well, this is the end for today's tutorial, and you can try to apply the fact to different scenes. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.